welcome students so in the previous module we have learned about the direction and bearing but just for a revision and there is a related topic to it so we will uh, repeat this again and then we'll proceed further so in direction and bearing there are four cardinal directions north south east and west and four intercardinal direction north and east that is northeast between south and east southeast between south and west southwest and between north and west that is north west so these are four cardinal and intercardinal directions now we will learn about bearing bearing is actually when we calculate the angle the exact angle of one station from another or of one point from another and it is always calculated by following the uh, north line so here this is the north line and i have written all the directions you can see north south east and west so every part of the bearing has 90 degree and so it becomes altogether 360 degrees as we consider this north is 0 degree as we move to east it is 90 then the next angle from east to south comes to be 180 as 190 is added to it another 90 is added to 180 degree it becomes 270 when it reaches west and finally it completes the loop and it becomes 360 so the whole angle is of 360 degrees now we have seen this example in the last previous module we'll see it again for better understanding so this is station a and b we have to find the bearing of b from a so we have drawn the north line along station a and we have joined a and b so we clockwise we move from north line we'll move clockwise direction we'll get an angle of 50 degree by measuring with it with a compass and so the bearing of b from a is 50 degrees now next we'll measure the bearing of a from b so we have drawn the north line along b and we have extended it to make it easy to find out the angle the bearing so we know that as it's a straight line definitely this will be 180 and if we measure this it comes to be 50 so 180 plus 50 gives us 230 degrees so bearing of station a from b is 230 degrees now there are uh, two types of bearing one is forward and one is backward so here this example shows forward bearing we start we move clockwise from the north line and if it is less than 180 degree the bearing angle is less than 180 degree uh, 180 and less then it is forward bearing in this example the angle is beyond more than 180 degree so this is backward bearing here it is plus 180 degree related to the concept of direction and bearing we will also learn now about the compass direction so there are four cardinal and four intercardinal direction apart from this there is one more division in this that is the here we will learn as i told you that in between the cardinal and intercardinal uh, directions there are further subdivisions that is if we see between north west and north if we divide it it comes to be north north west similarly if it is between north east and east it will be east north east so like this we even subdivide the intercardinal directions so that we can get more precise location of one point to another so this is how the compass direction help us uh, to find the exact and precise location in a topographical map now how to find the direction let us see i have marked points here a b c d e f g and h so there are points marked on the lines now if it is asked what is the direction of f point f it is here from point b it is here so we'll see that from where we have to start we have to start from b 
so this is the station we have to start from here so we will see in which direction we have to move so we have to move in the direction of south west so from b to f is south west similarly the next uh, question is from c to g from c so this from here we have to start and we have to move towards g so we are here moving towards direction west so the answer will be west now next is from e to a here is point e and here we have point a so if we station here from e and we start moving towards a the direction will be north similarly from h to d so this is point h and this is point d this is h from h towards d so we are moving towards south east answer will be south east so this is how uh, the, the concept of uh, compass direction is and how we measure or find out the direction of a particular place from another place or from another point now next students will learn how to measure distance in a topographical map so there are two methods direct method indirect method we use direct method when the path is straight when the distance which we have to measure is a straight line but indirect method method is used when the path or the distance we have to measure is not straight it is curved so let us start with the direct method this is settlement a you can see the boxes this represent the settlement a and this is settlement b so here i have taken the central point of settlement a and the central point of settlement b and it it has been connected now we'll uh, put our the ruler and we'll measure in centimeter so the answer comes to be 4 cm now we'll use this measures this measured distance and we'll put it to the scale distance between a and b 4 cm according to the scale of the map uh, if you remember we have discussed about the scale of the map in the uh, previous module so the scale uh, on the map is 2 cm in the map equal to 1 km on the ground so we'll use this method unitary method that is if it's 1 cm 1 by 2 km and it, if it is 2 4 cm then it will come to be 2 km so according to this if the distance in the map is 4 cm then on the actual ground the distance will be 2 km between settlement a and b so this is how we use direct method now we'll use the indirect method of finding out the distance so path is curved so we will take a string or a thread and we have to see it should not be very very thin otherwise it will be very difficult for us to measure and it should not be very very thick also of moderate thickness we'll take a string and then we will mark the center points of the settlement and when we take a string we will not start from the end we will with a pencil in our hand or a pen we will mark a point on the string and this point of the string will place here and we'll just press it with our finger and we will spread the string on the way and then go on pressing the string like this we'll pull the string and press it and as we are proceeding with the string we'll go on pressing and by the time it reaches the center of settlement a when we have reached here we will mark the other end of the string which is here now this in the string we have got two marks one of settlement a and the another one is the center of settlement b so this is the distance suppose it comes to be 6 cm we will take the string and we will place our ruler in the string and we will measure so as i have written here 6 cm we will put it to the scale distance between a and b 6 cm so after calculation we will follow the 
scale of the map that is 2 cm is to 1 km that means 2 cm in the map equal to 1 km on the actual earth surface or on the ground. So answer comes to be 3 km. So the distance between settlement A and B is 3 km and we have calculated this by using the indirect method. So this is how we measure distance in a topographical sheet.